What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, and today we're tackling something a little bit different here on Aviator Gaming. Today we're playing some Game Dev Tycoon. Now you guys, I decided to go to three videos a day on this channel because I play so many games and I want you guys to experience them with me. Now that doesn't mean you're not going to get Newlyweds, Neighborhood, or Rags Riches, and even Minecraft animations anymore. Actually, those are all still going to come out just like they normally would. But now you're going to get more videos that I find really fun to make and more games and maybe you can explore some new fun things with me. Now if you guys like this idea and you like Game Dev Tycoon, and you want more of it, make sure you slap that like button, Lemonheads. If we get a thousand likes on this video, I'll do another episode of Game Dev Tycoon for you guys. Now, I love this game. I've played this game through, I don't know what, uh, probably five to six times because it is just so addicting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start a new game in our garage. Now, this is a dangerous new game, and it, it should not be reckoned with lightly. We gotta go to a new game. This, see, this is a new game. That was not a new game. This is a new one. <laughs> Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you can be transported. Yeah, we have 35 years basically to become a giant gaming conglomerate, you guys. And now you're gonna get to see what a game company owned by me would be like. Okay, so we gotta give the company a name. Of course we do. We're gonna call this Aviator. 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 Aviator, Aviator Industries. Industries. Parties. No, okay, dang it. <laughs> Aviator likes ponies. Okay, so Aviator likes ponies. This is a very groundbreaking game. Um, and I, this is me. I'm Aviator. Okay, so let's see. So I'm a male. Yep, this is the guy. Aviator likes ponies. Unlock hints. No, we don't want hints. Okay, so choose save slot. We're going to save over slot number one. Are you sure? Yes, I'm going to overwrite it. It's going to be painful. Okay. So now, we're going to develop a new game. So let's pick a topic first. Let's make it a business game. Ah, I like business. And we'll make it a simulation business game. Oh, for the G64, which has more market share than the PC. So we're going to go for the we're going to go for the PC. It's cheaper. Uh, now let's call this Biz Biz Dev. Okay? Yeah, that's Biz Dev. Business development. Sounds like an educational game. And we're going to we're going to go all out with this one. We're going to do 2D graphics. Right off the start. That's very, very elaborate, very expensive. I like it. Okay, we got a nice bug right there. <laughs> so what do we want to focus on? Definitely the gameplay um, and less storyline. That sounds good. Let's try that. Now, it's only one guy working in his garage. So you have to keep in mind, this is not going to be an easy task to make a good game. But we're going to try our butts off. So level design, no. Artificial intelligence is very important in a simulation game. Dialogue's not so important. Let's try that. Come on, artificial intelligence. You gotta make the simulation difficult. That's why you need to focus on artificial intelligence. Otherwise, the simulation will be easy. Now, graphics, very important. Sound, not so important. World design, very important because it is. It's just, you don't want to look at an ugly game. Now, see this game. This is a beautiful game. I like this game. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get rid of all these bugs and see what we come out with. I think biz dev, you guys. Business development is going to be a huge hit. <laughs> so you just get ready. 14 and 11 and 16 research research points. That's crazy good. Pretty sure for our first game, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can do good with this. Let's release the game. What's going to happen? Uh, the first reviews for our newly released biz dev came in. Oh, God. Oh, what's it going to be? A 7! Simulation games work well on the PC. Uh, an eight! Played it for days! Oh my god, guys, our first game is a hit! A seven! Beautiful! Okay, that's a 7.75 right now. Let's see if this is... Oh. Okay, so we averaged a seven on our first game. Shows potential. Thanks, all games, for making us have a crappy rating when we could add like a 7.5. Now we got a seven. Okay, let's close that out. So right now, we can do some researching. <coughs> And uh, we can research to greatly improve things. I don't need this tutorial, but I'll, I'll accept it. So what do we want? A new topic? Probably. Let's see. Let's do a sports. I want to I wanna research some sports. I want that as our new topic. Aviator Likes Ponies, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Biz Dev. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Aviator Likes Ponies are sure to gain fans quickly. How many fans are we going to get? Okay, so it just released. Look at that! Oh wow, in the first week we sold over 3,000 units, putting us at number 22 on the charts! Oh my god! The only to sell 3,000 units would be number 22 in the world for games released that, or games that are currently out, that's 
It must not be a lot of games up, but we did gain 12 fans. So that's that's really good. Look at that. We got 25 total fans. You have successfully researched a new topic, sports. Okay, so now we can develop a new game. So we obviously want a sports game. We want a sports strategy game for the G64. We're going to go all out here. Uh, we're actually going to spend some money on this one, and we're going to call this All Aviator um, 64. So, Because this is for the 64, so it's like all Madden, but it's just all Aviator. Okay, next, uh, 2D graphics. Of course, it's a sports game. It's got to have the best of graphics. And we're still making some good money on this game here, so we're going to definitely focus on the gameplay and the engine, less on story and quests. Let's do it. All Aviator 64, will it be a bigger hit? Bigger success than BizDev? BizDev has achieved a company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. Wow, 10,000, holy crap. Okay, so level design is important. Artific artificial intelligence is also dialogue, not so much. Let's give that a shot. Come on, baby. Keep designing, you're slowing down. We still, look at we almost sold 12,000 years. We're making good money. What do we start with? Like, what, 50,000, 30,000 dollars, 30 something thousand? I don't know, 50,000? Uh, okay, world design, graphics, sound doesn't really matter, I don't think, in a sports game. So let's do it. Let's divvy up just world design and, and graphics. Look at this. Look at this beautiful game, you guys. Two sevens, lower than biz dev, but I, I hope that's not a bad thing. Okay, so let's finish it up. Seven and eight. No new records in anything. All, all Aviator 64. It is a new combo. It is a new topic. So they're going to give us some bonuses here. Hopefully, hopefully it's a good thing. I really, we, we need this to be great. Okay, graphics, sound. Zach is improving. Good, let's release the game. What are the critics going to say? BizDev is off the market. It sold 13,700 units. Okay, so let's see if we can beat that with this game. The first reviews are in for our game. All Aviator 64. Oh, God. Oh, uh, oh, God, Abysmal Star Games. Why? Oh, bin material. No. Come on. Meh. Okay, okay. That's a four. Game Hero. Now, this. these are the people that messed with us last time. Not much fun. All games. Crap. That's not good. All the reviews together don't even add up to ten. <laughs> this is, uh... Oh, well, hey, we're still selling copies. Oh, we lost a fan, though. Well, we're selling copies. Okay, so... Is that all that matters? Recent studies suggest uh, that uh, Gavaro G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC. Okay. Experts say that this might sell, uh, spell the end of compu competing hardware manufacturers. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Research. Uh, we're not going to research anything, actually. We're going to make another game with the topics we have here. We do have a racing game. Uh, it can be a racing um, simulation game, obviously, for the PC. And this is going to be called iRacer. So iRacer is going to be a great game. iRacer uh, 2015. So iRacer 2015. Let's try this out. 2D graphics. Sounds like the way we want to go. I don't think this game, All Aviator 64, is going to sell as hot as the last one did. Okay, so story and quests. We're going to match everything kind of a little lower. We're going to do gameplay higher in this one. Just because I feel like it's more important in a racing simulation game to have really good gameplay. I think with any simulation, you need to have good gameplay. Um, level design, artificial intelligence, because it is a simulation game. So let's run with that. A little more dialogue, so maybe the racers can be like, Hey, you! I don't like your face! Then the other racers can be like, Hey, that wasn't very nice! And, you know, that's how it could go. Uh, sound. They need sound in a simulation game. Um, okay, let's try that out. Okay, so we already are looking like we're having a little bit better score here, and we might be able to break a record. We're going to have to see. Oh, I don't know if that's going to break any records, but let's get rid of the bugs. Let's see. Come on. According to rumors, Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. Many industry experts doubt the home gaming consoles will take off. Okay. Those industry experts. Let's see. Any records? A new record in technology on 11. Okay. Okay, I'm confident in this game, you guys. I think iRacer 2015 is going to be a great one. First game of 2015. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at all the level ups. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Let's release the game. So, all aviator. Uh, oh, first reviews are out. Let's see. Ooh, I saw a 10. And six. Corky, but good. Okay, okay. We'll accept that. Star Games. Seven, beautiful. Informed Gamer is really nice to us. 
Uh, seven, enjoyable. Okay, come on, give us an eight, and we'll have seven all around again. A six. Okay, so we got it for 6.5. The focus on level design served this game very well. Okay, so we only sold 7,500 of all Aviator 64, and we sold 13,700 of our other game. Oh my god! Hi there, I've just finished iRacer 2015. I am impressed by your talent. I am contract. I am in, a I am in the contracting business, and we could use skills like yours. If you ever short of cash, just let us know. Okay. Awesome. Contracts. So we can do contracts now for some more money. But look at that. Uh, All Aviator is off. Uh, didn't even sell 7,500 units. So that one sucked. We barely broke even on that one. But look at this. iRacer 2015 could break all expectations here, you guys. Um, let's let's develop a new game. Uh, let's go with Hospital. We're going to make this a Hospital uh, roleplay game. Or should this be a... Yeah, a Hospital roleplay game. <laughs> that sounds stupid. A Hospital simulation game. For the PC, uh, and we're gonna call this um, Doctor Doctor. Okay, Doctor Doctor, very popular game, very awesome. We're gonna actually do this text-based uh, for the simulation because we're gonna go cheaper with this game just to kind of see if we can pull a fast one, <laughs> pull a fast one on our audience and see if we can make a little bit more money. So let's do all this. Already looks like it's had a really good start. Look at how strong it's coming off right in the first level here. I'm going to lower artificial intelligence. We're going to focus a lot on level design with this one because it is text-based. So <laughs> level design, you got those letters have to look great. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And look at iRacer 2015 has sold the most copies ever of any of our games already. Industry news. Today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to hop on the TES train if we have money. Right now, we have 152000 We're doing pretty good. Um, let's lower, let's actually increase the sound here. We're going to focus on all of these equally. See if we can pump out a few better numbers here. Uh, iRacer is off the market with 14,500. So 800 more units than the other game sold. So there we go. That's our best game as of yet. Now we just got to get rid of these bugs. And perfect. So 12 and 10. No new record for technology. I don't even think for design. Yeah, no new records. But hey, you know, we, we made a good game. I feel like it's a pretty good game. So let's have these levels release the game. Come on, baby. Give us a nine. Nines and tens would be awesome. Okay, Dr. Doctor, the reviews are in. Dr. Doctor. Come on. Six. Quirky but good. Okay, we'll take a six. Uh, seven. Good game. Okay, thanks, Informed Gamer. You're our biggest fanboys. Nice experience. Seven. Come on. Seven, 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 seven. Dang it. 6.5 again. Okay, hey, that's still going to sell good copies, though. So there's no need to worry about that. So we are in year two. So I don't know. Is this the year the Nintendo comes out? Let's research here. Uh, we don't want a custom game, en game engine just yet. Let's do superheroes game. That's the topic we want to research next. See if we can make a really cool action uh, adventure type superheroes game. Uh, I think that would be fun. I think we're going to go with action. Action and superheroes. That matches the best. Okay, superheroes. Let's see. Develop a new game. Uh, superheroes is the category. And we're going to make it an action game. And it's going to be on the G64 for now. And this is going to be called... Super fun because it is it's a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna make the 2d graphics now our costs are thirty thousand dollars for this game But I think it's gonna be worth it if we can pull this off Okay, so gameplay and stories and quests and engine. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them all on I'm gonna even them all out here and see what happens Kind of curious. Maybe we'll get away with a really good game if we just have them all pretty good Dialogues are important artificial intelligence is important. Let's do it all Focus on everything. We'll have a really good game, right? Or no? I hope so. I hope. Today, the new game platform, TES by Nintendo, has been released. Okay, so we're going to miss the train on this one. So super fun. Won't be on the new game console. I don't even know if we have enough money to do stuff on the new game console just yet. Come on. Make super fun happen. Look at Dr. Doctor, I think, is going to sell the most copies a game ever has sold for us. Uh, let's lower the sound quality. We don't care too much about sound. Okay. Now, let's see. Come on, baby. Okay, so the game's up the market. Did not sell the most cop. Or did it? Yeah, oh, it did. It did. It did. Okay, so now Dr. Doctor is our best-selling game of all time. And it looks like this is going to be our best design game. Uh, new high score in technology and maybe design. No, design was a 14, I think. Let's finish it. So technology is going to have a breaking record. Okay, we were so close, though, with design. So this was a really good game on paper. Let's see what the critics think. The first reviews are in. Come on, super fun. Six, I like it. Star Games. Oh no, it's all up to what Game Informer gives us. 
Falls a bit short. Inform Gamer, why? They shouldn't forget about sound. Ah, crap. Could have been better. Okay, so 5.5. This game flopped. But you guys, that doesn't matter. Because this next game is the only game that matters. Okay. This next game is going to be on the TES. It's going to be our first ever game on the TES. So what we're going to do is get a new topic for it, though. We want to have a... Um, a rhythm game. We want a rhythm game. So we're going to research this. We're going to make some type of like guitar hero wannabe. And I think we can we can make a fortune off that. So, oh my god, Super Fun is making some money. It's going to sell more copies than any game we've ever done in probably just a shy four to five weeks. That's crazy. You have successfully researched a new topic, rhythm. So look at Super Fun though, is selling, yep, best sold game of all time. Let's see here. Um, Develop a new game. Let's choose the platform. So it's only got 39% market share, but it is number one market share. $80,000 to get the rights to it. We want a simulation um, rhythm game. Um, and I don't know if simulation's going to be good on this. I hope it is. But we're going to call this Dance Dance Party. Okay, so Dance Dance Party. This is going to be a really fun game. 2D graphics, of course, because <laughs> that's all we can get right now. The Nintendo Original's out, for God's sakes. Um, story is going to be important. Engine's not as important. And I don't think story is as important either. I almost think gameplay is... I'm going to take a risk. I think gameplay is the most important thing in simulation. So we're going to just focus on gameplay. Look at that design. We can really crank a good game out here, I think. Okay, so dialogues, not important. Artificial intelligence is important. Let's try that. Come on, baby. Level design. I know level design is important. It's got to be pretty. It's got to be fun. Come on. Look at this. We're going to have a record in design. I'm pretty sure of it. And we could even get a record in technology. It's going to be close. So sound. Uh, sound is going to be a little bit more important, just like world design. But we're going to keep level design the same. Okay. Super fun is now off the market. It sold 19,252 shares. Holy crap. That one killed all of our other games. We made a lot of money. Okay. So design now has a new record and technology has a new record. So this game is a record-breaking game for us. No game has come this close on paper to being this great for... Ah, uh, Aviator Loves Ponies, or whatever. <laughs> whatever our company name is. Let's release the game. Come on, baby. Don't disappoint me, game devs. Or game critics. Dance Dance Party. Come on. Five! Falls a bit short. Crap! Seven. Nice experience. Okay, okay. Let's get another seven here. Oh, five. Have seen better. And six. Okay, so roughly we have about a 5.75 score here nothing amazing but nintendo's used to that kind of rating <laughs> on their games but look at that almost 7,000 copies sold in the very first week so now we're gonna take some of our research points and we're gonna research a few new things we're gonna do martial arts we're gonna just spend all of our research points basically and get a few more topics researched so that way we have some new things to come out with the recently released tes home council by nintendo has proven to the uh, be a massive success Sale numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Okay. But you guys, I think this is a really good place to end this episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to slap that like button, Lemonheads. Uh, if we get a thousand likes, like I said, I'll have more of this for you guys. And also, if you watch the whole thing, comment down below. Dance, dance, baby. And I'll know you watch the whole video. But until next time, you guys, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy.